again today. The emergency of a fire becomes critical for each firefighter battling a blaze in already intense temperatures. Vito Maggiolo, the coordinator of field operations for D.C.'s Friendship Fire Association, is ready to roll to help our firefighters in the extreme heat. Good morning. Thanks for coming in today. My pleasure. And so this is something that, of course, I know you guys take very seriously. We've got temperatures that the feels like factors in the triple digits here. So what can uh, firefighters do? Well, what we have is we have a specialized vehicle called a rehab unit. And uh, the rehab unit goes to all major fires. Um, and it's staffed during uh, high heat conditions, and uh, we respond uh, with um, with cooling towels, with uh, Gatorade, with water, and we have a number of special devices uh, that help to cool the firefighters down. So that's that's how we operate. Okay, and so what is it that you've got in your hand right now? Well, this is a what we call a frosty towel. We hand these out to the firefighters. When they take them out, they, sh they twirl them around and they cool down. Firefighters will then put them over their necks or on the top of their heads, and that helps to cool the core body temperature down. So are they already wet? They're pre they're, 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 Yes, they're pre, they're, they're pre... We keep them refrigerated in our unit, okay. but they don't have to be refrigerated. But when you twirl them around, they cool off, even when they're not refrigerated. And then the, they, the firefighters use them to cool themselves down to help bring their core body temperature down. Interesting. Okay. And so you've also got this rehabilitation unit. Yes, it's Can you talk about that? Yeah. It, it's, uh, it's a specialized unit. It has bench seating inside and it's climate controlled. So when the firefighters come out of the extreme conditions that uh, they're operating in, they come onto that unit. They're able to cool down in the uh, hot weather or warm up in severe cold weather. Okay. And the medical teams come on board. They check their uh, vitals. They check their blood pressure. They check their, uh, their heartbeat. Uh, they look for any aberrations. And, and they make sure the firefighters have not suffered an, to an extreme level okay. from, their, from the work they've been doing. Uh, no, we, we, have, we hear about fires being started by a lightning strike. Um, of course, lots of summer storms that we're experiencing right now. Are fires more common uh, this, type, this time of the year? Uh, not typically, actually. Most of, uh, our most severe fires often take place in the wintertime. Winter. When, uh, Space heaters. Oh, yeah, people yeah. using heating devices. And, mm -hmm. uh, uh, but um, but firefighter, fi fires take place any time of the year under, uh, under a number of right. circumstances. And uh, the firefighters, you know, you've got to remember, uh, they're completely encapsulated. They're wearing 80 pounds right. of equipment. And so you know how miserable you can be in, in extremely hot weather, even when you're dressed for it and prepared right. for it. So imagine being fully encapsulated, uh, wearing 80 pounds of equipment and racing up nine flights of stairs possibly, fighting a fire and then coming out. Mm -hmm. Those are the extreme conditions that can create severe uh, physical stress on firefighters. And what we do is right. we alleviate that, try to alleviate that. You know, we lost a firefighter uh, in May, mm -hmm. Lieutenant Kevin McRae. Mm -hmm. He was 44 years old and in good physical condition. And he fought a fire and he came down and he died of a massive heart attack. Right. And these are the kind of things that the rehab process is intended to help prevent. Well, it's certainly a need for it, obviously. And uh, our thoughts and condolences to the McRae family still. Thank you very much. We appreciate everything that you guys do and uh, everything that you're doing to try and keep our firefighters safe. Thanks for coming in this morning. Oh, you bet. My pleasure.